taking the time to be here, including council members. Uh, at this point, we have the uh, agency reports. First up, California Higher Patrol, Officer Hall.
Next up, we have Los Angeles County Sheriff, Resident Deputy, Deputy Martinez. Martinez. Let's give him a big round of applause. <laughs> Welcome to I'm as good as he did because I didn't have that many numbers. So that's all right. That could be good. And there were clubs around here, so I don't even have any show numbers. But um, I'm Deputy Martinez. I'm your new Resident Deputy. I started technically on Sunday. Um, just want to let you guys know that I'm here for you guys and whatever you guys need. Whatever problems you guys have, let me know. I'm pretty accessible. Um, I'll give you guys my card if you guys need anything. My email is usually the best way to get a hold of me. Uh, one, I can kind of keep track of any ongoing issues and kind of document it as it goes along. So if, if we need to escalate it and get you know code enforcement and stuff, I have a paper trail already set up. So that way it helps out a little bit than just hey, you know, hey, I called you 20 times, but hey, we got a couple of emails and I can be like, no, like hey, this has been going on for three months. Can we get someone out here? Can we get someone to you know? Whatever it may be. Um, other than that, I've been at the Palm Beach Sheriff Station since 2010. Been on the department since 2005. I've been uh, your watch deputy for the last three years. So dealing with not only the public but all the field units and coordinating all the operations. I know you guys have a very unique community, and it's a, it's a good community. Um, and you know, I want to help your guys' quality of life. So I'm open to any ideas you guys may have. Anything that you guys and I may not think of that you guys know because you guys are the experts in the area, let me know. So, you know. speech or literacy 
Um, and then there's all kinds of educational and um, toys around the, the room for them to play with and learn. It's a great time to play with your kids with our toys. Awesome. And kids always like new toys. <laughs> Even if you hide them for a while and show them. Um, uh, next big thing I want to plug is actually this coming weekend. It starts Saturday at 9 a.m. So it's Saturday the 13th at 9 a.m. Runs all day till 5. It is the Friends of the Acton Aguadelce Library book sale. Just when you thought you had enough books, I'm telling you, you don't. Come by and buy a couple more. The Friends will be very happy. Um, so it's all day Friday, and then on Sunday, it'll be from 10 a.m. to 12.30. Um, that's the bucket bag day. You come in, you get a bag, you fill it for a dollar. Wow. You're not going to find a better deal. Wow. Wow. And it's also more than just books, too. It's, um, people donate DVDs, audio books, all kinds of things. Yeah. So if you're like, ah, I want a book. Maybe you want one of the movies I've got. <coughs> then you should come check it out. Great. Um, Saturday, May 4th, we are having a May the 4th Be With You program. So a nice little stylish program for kids. My children's librarian is going crazy with it. Um, it should be lots of fun. Um, it'll run from 2 to 3 p.m. Um, I shouldn't say just the children's librarian. It's half the staff is now dived onto the internet to find it. Um, I have one more, I have another blood drive coming up, Thursday, May 2nd, 10 to 4. Um, those are always important to come by and get people to do. So, uh, last one we had was really good, it was really well attended, so hopefully we can get another good one there. And lastly, Saturday, May 18th, uh, once again we're hosting a, uh, with the uh, Department of Public Works, we're hosting a smart parking workshop. Uh, we hosted the last year, it was <coughs> turnout for the people for that, so we might need to wrangle them in again. Um, it's, they, they come in, they talk about water-wise gardening, worm composting, um, and then regular grass um, weed composting as well, and it's with your uh, leftover food and stuff. And then at the end of it, they sell at a discounted price uh, composting bins and worm bins. So if you want to have your own little worm farm, yeah. come and buy it, we'll teach you how to do it and sell you the bit by bit. Yeah. Are they supplying worms? I be, don't quote me on it, but I believe it comes with the kit. Yeah. Farms come with the kit. Oh, I could be wrong, but <laughs> I'm not sure she does. Worms are good. Yeah. Worms. So, listen to the questions. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, now for time of the 5th District Report. Stephanie. Yeah. She's a, a wine, you know, I know, but she, she hangs tough. 
And um, I think that's really it for me. We have State of the County on May 1st. It's sold out, so hopefully you got your tickets. And um, I sent you, I don't know if you got it, I sent you a picture of that pothole. And uh, coming off the northbound exit to the, from the wedding, or from the 14, coming on the Wilson Canyon Road. The last time this happened, Rosalind arranged a meeting with me and Caltrans to, to go out and look at it. It's under the freeway, so it has to be done specifically by them, not by any other place. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if you can find out who it was. Um, it's getting worse and worse and worse. Would you do me a favor and resend it? Sure. It's probably in my long list of emails, okay. and I will go to the top if you can send it okay. for me. Sure. Um, and then also, if you have issues like that, it's best to send them to Joanne. Do you know Joanne? No. Joanne Jason, our office, she handles all our casework and she keeps me in oh, okay. So if, at least copy her okay. if you said something to me. Okay. And um, she's really tracks all of the okay. issues and complaints. So I'll send it to you and then ask you to give me her information. The other one I can send it to Oh, okay, great, thanks. Yes. Another question, um, who do I contact about a passing lane on Sierra Highway? That um, it, it should be gone. It's uh, going towards Sierra Vista. Mm -hmm. And when you go, I've come out of Sierra Vista going westbound on Sierra Highway and had cars in my lane because they passed in the passing lane and can't get back over. My husband was rear-ended by a person who did that. They came around, were going too fast to stay in the passing lane, came down and rear-ended him when he was stopped waiting for fire station and he wanted to come out. It's just, a, like I said, I, I have to stay almost in the dirt coming up Sierra Vista, out of Sierra Vista on the Sierra Highway because I need cars going the other direction in my lane. I'd like someone to come out and look at it. We can, we can request a traffic study if you'll send that to us too. Okay. And we'll, we'll go ahead and look at it. Okay, thank you very much. Sure. sure. Any other questions? How big is the problem of the homelessness here? I don't think it's a big problem here. No. No, but it's, it's not you so. know, it's, it's a problem nationwide and it's a problem in uh, all communities, most communities. You guys are just understand tucked away, but I think it's relevant to know because it's a matter of infiltration. Well, you know, the, the truth of the matter is, not for public yeah. comment, but yeah. is that when you provide services, it's, it's, a, it's a mixed bag. When you provide services, the homeless know where to come and get those services, which is appropriate. But, you know, it, it creates a challenge. I just watched the most, I'll, I'll send it to you, John, you won't believe it, but the most, um, Seattle did a documentary, it's one hour, it's called Seattle is Dying. And it was the most fascinating, true, have you seen it? No, I've been, been there several times. Well, it's like LA, it's like Austin, Texas. Yeah, it's it's all the same in the big, you know, you know yes, so cities. New York Times, uh, San Francisco homelessness. Yeah. San Francisco, they're all the same. But it did a really balanced um, uh, piece on what the what the issues are. And really, and this goes to the, some of the work the supervisor's doing, my opinion, not for public comment, not to represent the supervisor, I'll go the way it does. People have to be, we have to be able to be allowed to legally take people off the street. Otherwise, it's just gonna grow and grow and grow. And that goes to her emotions so it's it, more complicated than that. It's very, very complicated. Oh, no, it's very complex. It's a regular time. Yeah, I can sure. that, And that is provide anything uh, to... Well, to, that know. goes to her motion to expand mental health beds. She's looking yeah. for places to open mental health beds. Yeah. She's looking legislatively to expand the definition of gravely ill so we can force people into treatment. Right now, you can't force them. Most of them don't want to be in treatment. They're it's mentally ill. Right. They're, they're drug addicted. Right. So they're they're in the industry. They're... Yeah, we, yeah they 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 get used to it. They right. know the system, right. and they they're com they're comfortable. Yeah, they're comfortable. Uh, I'll send you that documentary. It is worth one hour. I'm telling Thank you. you. The only thing I'll say about it, it doesn't end as articulately as I think it should. It 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 shows people that have gotten treatment that were not mentally ill, and how and they were drug addicted, but they weren't mentally ill, and how they succeeded. But that's not most of the people. Most people are drug drug addicted and mentally ill. That's our problem. So Thank you. I appreciate it. My soapbox. <laughs> you can stay on. <laughs> Next up, we have <coughs> Christy Smith, uh, representative. Uh, Ryan Boy, am I here? Okay. Maybe next time. Yeah. Uh, next up, we have the uh, president's report. 
First item is a, is a CMEX. Uh, U.S. Department of Interior Review Board denied CMEX's appeal of a 2015 Bureau of Land Management decision that canceled the company's mining contracts in Solidad Canyon. So we can give a big hooray for that. Yeah. That's big time. That's been a 20 year, yeah. over 20 years. Andy Free. Andy Free. Andy Free. Who was a member of the town council years ago. Yep. He yep. Um, formed a nonprofit. He had a passion for fighting. Mm -hmm. Yes. And um, he was instrumental in getting that started. Do we have an option to appeal? No, this was the appeal. This was the appeal. Do you go to the appeal? Yes, it does. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't. It stops them from um, starting to mine in 2020. So from now until 2020, they could, yeah. but the infrastructure they have to put in just yeah. doesn't make sense. So it's it three years to get there. Correct. So it's a big right. So yeah. Andy, tell and Andy and Safe are still with Area Act is one of those. Uh, I just talked to him recently and after this decision came through. And he made it clear that it's possible for a set of another appeal, appeal the appeal, and take it to federal court. So until they're really dead, that does not count until they're not. But the likely, <laughs> well, we're, 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 this, we're still going to claim this, this a victory. Yeah. This could have gone away. They can do, so but it yeah. may not be the last. They have to be able to claim this. Please send Yes. Secondly, uh, California Senator uh, Will, Scott Will, uh, seeks to reduce unlaw unlawful dumping by increasing penalties and requiring the property owners obtain state loan permits prior to allowing dumping on their property. The bill also holds truckers responsible for transporting waste for the purpose of unlaw unlawful dumping and expands the agencies authorized to declare a property a nuisance with unlawful dump waste. That's a good thing. Mm -hmm. So that's good. It hasn't passed. It's that's moving just, through the process. He, he, that's his bill. That's his bill. Next up, we have some items coming up in regional planning with uh, plans filed. Uh, 10262 Sierra Highway request for Sierra Pelona Valley Festival temporary use permit. That's at the uh, Reyes Winery. Yeah, yeah. Okay. 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 And APN uh, such and such CUP to allow the continued use and maintenance of an existing wireless transmission. Facility, I guess that's what that means. That means yeah. Okay. Uh, and also at uh, 33314 Agua Canyon Road, the business license. Which is the Sweetwater Cafe new owners. Oh, new owners. They're, uh, uh, I think everybody's enjoying that. I know I am. Okay. Really? Okay. Yes. I haven't been there since we moved in 25 years ago. Yeah, and they've still got a few kinks to work out there. Yeah. It's not bad. Nice, simple menu. Yeah. Uh, open forum. Who here would like to stand up and talk about anything on their mind for a maximum of three minutes? In fact, we'll give you five. No <laughs> more. <laughs> no takers. Okay. No takers. That's fine. Uh, next up, we have <laughs> high speed rail update. Nobody's here for that. There's no. Have we heard anything? No. It's good. It's done, we're going to say it's done. We hope it's done. Um, no one even says no. Committee reports. Candy from many with her CHP Community Advisory Committee meeting report. No new meeting? No new meeting. And of course, we have the uh, Bylaws Revisions Committee with Lou and Mary. Nothing to report. Nothing to report. CSD revision, it's in. Inactive, as far as I know. Yeah. Election committee. Did we hear anything from? Haven't heard. Okay, we got a couple months to go. I think by July that. We should be doing something by July. All right, film committee. Eleven new shoots in the last month. Okay. And you mentioned something about Ferrari versus. Yes, Ford. Ferrari versus Ford, which, is, which was shot at our airport, is going to be released. Around Thanksgiving this year. What's it called? Ferrari? Ford versus Ferrari. Christian Bale and uh, Matt Damon. Yep. Are That's it. Land stewardship. Ed's not here. Parks and Trails Mayor. Um, good news to report on the land and water conservation.
conservation fund. Back in December, we sent a letter to then um, Congressman Knight Sorry. and Kevin McCarthy, a couple other congressmen, to um, permanently reauthorize the, the Natural Resources Act, mm -hmm. which is Land, Water, Conservation Fund. It takes no money from the taxpayer. It is funded from the offshore oil leases, and they pay into a fund, and that fund goes to, it has been going to recreational entities. And the PCT goes through our town as one of those entities. Um, that Congress wasn't able to act on it. They didn't get anything through. But President Trump signed the Natural Resources Management Act which includes, un, um, it doesn't have a sunset date. It is reauthorized forever. So that's a good thing. The unfortunate part was that President Trump didn't include any money from that fund in his budget. But Congress is the one who will actually make the budget. And um, the Congress will <coughs> fund that. So. And it's really not. Their budgeted funds. exactly. It's, so it's, it's right. just they're passing the pass through has to be made there. Right. So it's good news. Yeah. Really good news. Yeah. Us. In a it's one of those things that you, that you wonder. You know, here's all the oil companies. You know, big oil doing this and that. Well, it's something where they they had to pay into a fund that benefits the rest of us. Kind of thing. So it's good. Doesn't cost any tax dollars. That's the beautiful so thing about it. Do you need to go to uh, medicine philosophy instead of Kevin McCarthy to, uh, to to include read. it with the budget? I, I I would think we could do that. Yeah, maybe we send a letter to both um, our congressmen and senators indicating that we want um, the L. WCF fund. Just to remind them, we'll put money down the back room. What do you got? I think first we need to contact the guy that approached us. Right, and, he, right. And, and he will tell us yeah, who we should contact exactly. if we need they're to. Because the they're, they're the ones who are really fighting the fight. It wasn't the Alderosi Town Council, it was LWCF. Right. That, uh, and it was PCT Action Committee right. that was spearheading the promotion to get different entities to write letters, which we did, okay? So I think- So we can contact him and just say, is there yeah. any other action that we need to do? Yeah, or what's the latest on it? Yeah. You know, what do you think would be helpful? Okay. Rather than us just firing a letter off that- Okay, I like know, that idea. But I think we ought to keep- Keep, keep in contact keep with in contact. that guy. Yeah, keep in contact. Yeah. Um, and then we got a letter from the Pasadena Lapidary Society requesting access to the Sterling Mine Borax off of Davenport Road. Um, and I put together a response, um, and just a quick little response, I'll read it to you. Um, we received your letter to Mary Johnson, Chair of the Parks and Trails, dated March 20th. The area re you refer to is part of the old Sterling Borax Mine on Davenport Road. A quick internet search shows an um, assessor's identification number of number. That area does not have any public trails near it. We suggest you contact the Los Angeles County Assessor's Office to determine the owner and contact them directly for access. Here's information found on LA County property tax website. I put the website down and then I copied and pasted from that site. The Assessor's Office does not provide owner name and information on their website. However, you may visit the Assessor's Office and obtain the information. Please go to the office locations for the address, telephone number of the assessor's central and district public service counters. Alternately, you may request owner information for a specific property by filling out a public inquiry form. Mary, do you want to send it to me and I'll get it for you? That would be great. And then I can, if you can do that, and then I can send him the owner's information directly. Perfect. So they're just sending a, um, 
Well, they want to. They they they, they want to get the. I mean, everybody else just comes out and does it. That's it. Right. They want to get the permission right. so they can right. come out and do right. a field trip. And I wanted to say it's not against, but I'm not saying. Yeah. Yeah. Liability. Yeah. yeah. I'm not saying you've got the permission, right. but if, if we can get the owner's information, mm -hmm. um, and it's a certain type of rock. Yeah. Borax. Yeah, it's no, it's not borax. It's, it's called um, howlite. Howlite. And it uh, looks like quartz, but instead of the golden, uh -huh. the, it's it's black and gray Ooh. things through it. So oh, that's interesting. Can I add it in there? Yeah. Mm. So like, it's there. Just mm. come out. Make sure okay, you that'd be great stuff. Okay. That's great. So okay. we'll switch that one. Thank you, Mark. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Water stewardship. Uh, it looks like it's through raining for a little while, which is kind of nice. <laughs> we did get our bucket full. I think we got about 14 inches out here, which is wonderful. I haven't heard anything from the health department yet, but we'll be patiently. Send, send them an email today. Yeah. Chop, chop. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> we're telling them. Let's move this along. Good. All right, <laughs> Stephanie. Um, other than that, everything's still, you know, we actually uh, do have signs of well recharge uh, in the area, which is kind of neat. Some local wells, actually, whether the pump is running or not, there's air constantly blowing out the top of the well, which can only mean that water is filling up, yeah. you know, like the blowhole in, uh, in Maui, yeah. you know, in Hawaii. It's the same thing, the water comes in and fills up a cavern that's been empty. It, it, the it's got to get rid of the air, and so it picks the wells that are closest, and, nice. you know, that's, I mean, that's great. a lot of wells, you, when the big producers, you kick them on, and they pump a ton of water, and then you shut off, you get a little, and that's it. These things are going 24 hours a day. Wow. To the point where you can take sand and put sand over the little vent hole, and it'll kick the sand out of the way. So oh, it's good. Interesting. We're excited. Oh, yes. Don't know what that means, but we'll let you know. <laughs> <laughs> Ways and means, Troy. It's got anything or nothing. Okay. Gary's not here with disaster planning. Nor is Ed with the IGLC School Board Liaison. Town Council liaison. Um, Lillian Smith. I see. Um, basically, one of the key issues in Acton is still zoning. They are still concerned that there is no permit enforcement regarding noise and light. They don't care how the building is done, they just want noise and light controls. And they're disturbed that there's no monitoring. There's no rules, <laughs> you know, they can't seem to get them. Um, some folks from Folsom Road Ranch were there, and they are very cooperative and trying to help. And it's, you know, they're, they're a moving ranch, and they're trying to get their CDT, and once they get that, it's not going to do anything more. Uh, other than that... On their property, but they can't do anything that offends everybody else. But yeah, yeah. On their property, which is a huge property. Right. Doing something in the middle of in the middle of the night, no one's even going to know about it. Yeah. Yes, it's so secluded. Um, other than that, it's the standard things that we're all concerned with. It's still SEAs and it's still any, any other issue. And one more regulation. It's carrying on. That reminds me, I need to check with our filming guy mm -hmm. and find out. here. Fish fry at the Women's Club. Oh, great. This Friday, 5 o'clock to 8 o'clock. Did you just add that? But we're having another. Okay, you must have some left over. Are they still swimming? Or are they... It was a good thing. Okay, good. All right, that's here. 5 o'clock, 8 o'clock. All the fish you can eat for? Well, it's uh, two good pieces of fish. Two good pieces. 
pieces of fish for uh, eight dollars. Eight bucks. You can't beat that with a stick. That's great. Coleslaw and fries included. Okay, five to eight. Sure, they have a good time. Association of Town Council meeting, uh, April twenty fourth, Quartz Hill uh, Library. That's um, I think that's at seven o'clock. If I'm not mistaken. Uh, next, Agarosa Town Council meeting, May eighth. Here. Very unfinished business. Yeah, New business, we have question mark on the, uh, the update on, no, no uh, uh, unfinished, well, the, I guess just an update on the PCT people. Oh, that, yeah, wouldn't, yeah. that wouldn't be considered unfinished, but it's just an update. Yeah, uh, I'll, put, I'll include that for an update in the trails. Okay, uh, future agenda items? No. Yeah. For the future agenda items, I just don't want to forget about the uh, Santa Cruz buses because they've been hitting the advertising pretty hard at uh, stores and, and journal. And I don't want buses to just start showing up without us having anything to say about it. I'm not saying I want to discuss it right now. Yeah. I don't want us to forget about the Santa Cruz. I haven't heard anything about what, what buses. Kind of buses. Can you fill us in? Remember those guys came? Mm -hmm. Oh, the transportation mm -hmm. guy. Mm -hmm. Well, now we're going to have the giant Santa Cruz buses dropping. Well, no, and they're we're doing the survey to see okay. if they want it. Right. But I foresee that just yeah. all of a sudden the buses show up. Yeah. So I don't want to forget about it. Yeah. <coughs> so, shall we put that on for um, oh, May? Well, I don't know what I'm asking. I'm not saying that. You need to I don't know anything about it. You don't know anything about it? All I know is that the, the transportation they use is, is just a, like a 14 person uh, passenger van thing that comes out here. <coughs> Are we talking about the big thing with the, 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 the double bus? Bus? So, I'm not worried really about the homeless in Santa Cruz. Stops in our yeah. I'm just going to say it out loud. What you should. <laughs> 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 think, we right there at the bus stop and put a sign. No. no. Be aware of rattlesnakes. Fire and owners
pushy. So yeah. your, your concern is with the homeless, and like we were saying, it's like there's no resources out here. There's nothing for them. Like it's when like they come out. But to there's the, you know what? There's, there's a lot of vacant land. And there's vacant yeah. land. Mm -hmm. And there's gullible people mm -hmm. who think they're helping, and will pass off the stuff, and they can take the bus and get off at the freeway ramp and stand there for mm -hmm. four hours and get on the bus and go back to wherever they're going from. I see. Okay. I saw the orange line in the valley go from North Highwood all the way to Calabasas, and it's just like spread like. I see. Okay, that makes more sense. And then that's a good example. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You've seen it first time. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Okay. Another thing is cert container at our little seat. Never heard anything. Nothing. So. Okay. I'm taking it off. And they've got their other container sitting there. I see it. So, so. It, I don't. See, now they now they have to move that yeah. along. Maybe yes, sir. Maybe maybe not. Please. But what is it you'd like to know? Everything you know about. It. Everything you know about. It. What have you heard? I am the uh, area commander for yes. CERT from Palmdale Station. And you okay. are? Calvin Oglesby. Calvin. I'm supposed to give you a call today. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, is there a problem with it? There was, but they, they, wanted, they wanted it moved, Ooh. is what they wanted. Okay. The, the minister up there yes. has my name and number. He hasn't called me or okay. emailed It's a new me. minister. Oh, okay. It is? Yes. Okay. That, so it's been three months. That, that occurred three months ago. Yeah. Right? Three months ago, they were in a big push to get that thing It needed to be moved like because today. Because they had another container coming in, okay. and they wanted that one out so they could put the new container where that container is. Okay. But what's happened is the new container went right next to, right in front of the circle okay. container. Okay. okay, didn't block the access or anything, it's just there's 20 feet away. Okay. But it's already, the new one is already there, and the cert container is there. Okay. So in my mind, they're not going to want, I mean, have they have they contacted you no, about sir. Okay. Can you give me your contact information, sure. and I will make I'll sure that they are. Okay. Um, and who has access to that? Sir. Sir does. And, and... Does that include Gary? No, Gary is not part of CERT. Okay, so if there were a catastrophe, who do we contact? Because I have to contact you. I, I live in Acton, okay. so I'm, I'm local. All right. But um, no, Gary is not part of Animal Valley CERT. Right. He may be part of Santa Clarita CERT, right. but not, in, and it's divided up by a sheriff station. Right. And you fall under <clears throat> Palmdale station. Right. right, so we fall under Palmdale Station, so why are, what, we, why can't... Palmdale Station doesn't have access to them. We have keys to them, too. You've got keys to it? Okay. Yeah. But, but I get it. the point, why wouldn't you have somebody locally... Right, we need, we need to have well, you areas... You've got certain members here that are not active, so we're not just going to turn a key over to them if they're not active and we know who they are. So CERT is the entity... Actually, yes. it's the sheriff's department. Sure. It's so, the entity. We work sure. under the sheriff's department. With the fire department, uh, we get together and do classes and all sorts of stuff. I actually, right. back in the day, I did it with Santa Maria. That's why I was going to hit you up tonight about it. I uh, wanted to get the involvement going a little bit more about it again. I'm kind of a preparedness kind of guy with earthquakes and all that stuff. Cool. So just getting the information out, at least to the community, of what news should happen, especially out here since it is rural and right. you know, time frames of actually checking on homes, making sure everyone's okay, it's gonna be a little more delayed than it would be, you know, you guys are more in close proximity. And from what was passed on to me by Sergeant Abel, who was with you guys for years, is that uh, this guy's the guy, like he, he knows what's going on, everything's squared away, and those are actually were really nice containers and have good equipment, and we just had to get the, the community to know that, hey, there's a CERT team, and they can volunteer for it, and we just have to collapse it. So where is, where is the CERT van for you guys? For us, yeah. it is at the church. Down, down here. Down here, yeah. at the top. I'll so my it's question right. would be, having worked for the fire department for many years, mm -hmm. is if you're in Acton and there's something that blocks the roads, and right. you're going to be, you you're not going to be right. like opening CERT vans, right. you're going to be right. deployed right. to an right. incident. That, that was it seems to me there should be somebody so, here that is connected to that bin correct. more quickly. Right, and if we can get somebody to start showing up to the meetings and get so, I mean, but my so point, my question is how did it become yeah, the property of CERT when it started out being 
the emergency resiliency it was never committee. there. Never there. What's that? It was never there. It well, was back never in the day, back in the day, I worked with Gary quite a bit. We did a lot of cert training up here, so and I know there's some right. stuff. Right. But either way, I, I do think that you guys need someone locally down here. If that okay. cert container is there. Whoever it is. How about Station 81? Couldn't there be a key? They'll be too, oh, well, yeah, you can keep the key there, I mean, but that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, they won't, they, they'll be too busy, obviously. Right, they'll be busy, they'll be out. But you're going to be busy, you're going to be out. So we, we got no phone service. We got people, okay. exactly. And oh. we got people that would come down here. Okay. That the supplies that are in there are not for the public. Right. Eventually they're for the public, but it's to resupply our cert members. To go out and help the public. I got you. So okay. people show up there for public stuff? No. No. Okay. They're not but, get, there's well, no food in there. Triage stuff. Just medical generator. supplies, backboards, sleeping bags. Gotcha. Okay. So we can get. We need to have. Okay. Tell me how we get somebody from Abu Dhabi involved with this because there's certain members that, that have been trained. Um, D. Holland, right off the top of my head, and her husband. Okay. Yeah. okay. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't think so, but yeah. Yeah. I was going to throw that out. Okay. Anybody else? Um, I'd have to look and see. There's Give none. There, there's no no active. Okay. Certainly. So someone who's been certified would need to get active again. Yes, sir. And take the responsibility yes, of being the one in charge of the cert. Backup supplies that are in place. And the cert group. And it, yeah, we need them to be active in the whole group, not just here. And are um, you guys still working under Scott Polgar? Yes. You are. You still meet with him? Yeah. Okay. He's on our executive committee for mental health. Yeah. And um, it, Gary is our disaster preparedness guy, so it would make sense to us to have him be the guy. Yeah. Well, that isn't going to happen. That there's a problem there. Okay. Okay, right. that's really unfortunate because yeah. you don't have to like each other, but you just have to be professional, yeah. right? But that's, well, he's yeah, not. It's about professional. So well, he was asked. It's not to, about you guys. It's about the. the he was asked to leave cert because of some of the stuff that he tried to tell the fire department, the sheriff's department, that we were leaving here. Okay, so there's issues. So it's not just about finding a, a key person, it's about getting your group active here. Right. Right. Because that would be the that would be the CERT yeah. local Agua Dulce. The Agua Dulce CERT committee. In fact, I don't want to you, you guys should have, you, we should invite Scott to come down here. Right. And Scott, you want Rick? Rick Fox. Isn't he CERT? Rick Fox, no. Yeah. He's saying no. No. Oh. Mr. Fox is out of Santa Cruz. Okay, okay. Now, now I'm really confused. He's he's sir, but he's out of Santa Clarita, so he can't help us. He lives in Agua He can help you, but he's not part of. Like I said, this is part of Palmdale Station. That is Santa Clarita Station. He lives in Agua He lives in Agua Okay. Yeah. <laughs> What's this gentleman's name? Fox. Rick Fox. Rick Fox. We, we've got a. We've got to be able to. So my, my suggestion would be yeah. to you guys host a cert class. It's 21 hours. We usually do it on the weekends, three weekends. Host it here or wherever you want to host it. It needs to be a building big enough for about 50 people to attend. And let's start your squad up here, get them all interested in. You have to have somebody to lead the effort that stays, that likes it, that stays engaged, that will go to their meetings. Um, we need someone who has a passion for it. That that's yeah, and, and, and I've done certain <laughs> classes here. It's it, there's never 50 people that show up, but there right. this is back in the day. But there's a good 10, 15, 20, and all you need is that really. If you had that, that'd be more than enough. And what happened? We'd give Aquabilsi priority over the class. And then we'd start filling oh, it in. Yeah. There's plenty of people in the Antelope Valley. And they can come from anywhere, Santa Clarita, to, to take the class. It's right. the basic SIR class. I got you. And there's there's you guys need to start bodies here yes. and put the effort in by the agencies to hold the, to yes. hold the three meetings. Um, reach out to Maria Greifen. Okay. 
and she can set that up for you. Okay. See, and that, that then becomes the issue because Maria Santa Clarita. No, she no, that no, okay. she okay. she handles cert for the whole division. And you're her division. Oh. Okay, but you're saying it's Sharon. Right. Yeah. It'd be better to contact See, Palmdale. This, this is this is where I'm, this is I'm where I explain it to you. Okay. The sheriff's department, I mean excuse me, the fire department typically teaches shirt cert. They do some cert, but it's usually taught through the fire department. Maria handles all the cert for division three, which you guys are part of. And so she has done, she has organized and taught cert for years and years and years. And I think that's where Cal needs to to accept that. Well, no, I accept that. Just that it's by a sheriff's division. Well, when, not when, an, fire. In, when an incident, and so let me clarify when an incident happens, the cert team reports to the sheriff's department. So it's taught. By and fire. energized by fire, but the sheriff's department owns those members, and they get the cert members get deployed from the sheriff's department. Oh. Right, and, and I, I get it all, but we're having issues here. I can tell between Antelope <coughs> Palm Hill Station and Santa Clarita. <coughs> this, I, I can right. tell us in, in Antelope Valley cert. We have our own instructors. We don't really rely on the fire department. See, so this, this, this is where we're, this is, yeah. this is the issue here. And, and I think that's probably the reason why Gary's no longer involved with it. Well, it's up to you guys as a community how you want to operate. Mm -hmm. you, you could ask the Sheriff's Department to teach it. You could ask them to teach it. Right. You could ask you the Fire Department to teach it. You could ask the Fire Department to teach it. Much um, better than the stuff I see in Yeah, well, you know, the first thing is getting the people, the personnel here. Well, the first thing, Don, the first thing is you have to choose the entity that's going to teach it because then you have to publicize it right. through that entity. Right. But and Lily is a great way to advertise it. She, right. But she's more than happy. Before that, we need the people that have a passion toward that, that want to invest the time right. and take on the responsibility. That's the key thing right there. Right. So. Because once we have, okay, we, once we have 20 people that are motivated, hey, let's form a committee, hey, let's do this, let's do that. Great, now they've got a structure, you know, you're the president, you're the vice president, whatever, however it goes. And then whoever's trained is great, whoever isn't trained gets the training, they form that group. And they right, see, so I hate that. to have certain people who live in the area, even though they're not connected with Palmdale, I hate to not use them as a resource. Oh, well, no, you they, they would be. They yeah. would absolutely be. But yeah. you're saying we can't use Rick Fox as yeah. our no, guy. What, 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 what is the deal with Rick and Santa Clarita? I don't know. I, I, I don't he's got to go through Animal Bell. He's, he's out of Santa Clarita service. Well, <laughs> see, this, this, is, this is an issue. It, yeah, right? it, it's, it, it, does, it, it shouldn't be. It shouldn't issue. be. It should be. You know, as as we, all we all work together. We all work together on this. So the problem, the, the challenge is, is that the person who's head of CERT here in Aguadulce needs to be engaged and connected to the CERT organization and the sheriff's department so that there's, you know, it's, it's a relationship thing. Right. And it's ongoing support and right. needs and training and blah, blah, blah. Right. The reality is, if Rick is here right. and he, he knows sir, he's always engaged, he'll be able to handle it just fine. Yeah. Okay. But I understand the point of, of where does where does the leader here, or Rick, whoever it is, how do they connect to the broader organization? It doesn't really, Rick would know, even though he's connected to the Santa Clarita group, if he was here at two o'clock in the morning and an earthquake happened, he would know to connect to Palm Hill Station. Yes. Mm -hmm. And he yes. could call his cert people. Yes. Hey, everybody in Alpadol say head to head to Palmdale Station or head to corner of XYZ and we're getting right. deployed. They're gonna let us know what, what they need us to do. Mm -hmm. right. So we, we you know we just have to be able to work these things out and not it, it's it's unique because you guys are a rural community in between two cities. Right. Right. So that's Fire on one end and, and sheriff on the other. No, Santa Clarita station on one end and Palmdale right. station on the other. It's nothing to do with fire. Right. Fire can teach the course if you want fire to teach the course, which I have, I'm biased, I'm not going to recommend. Well, I agree with you on that. Yeah. But 
it's a okay. good thing. Well, no, it's, they're, Fire they're, has a unique thing where they actually, they, they have more knowledge of engineering and buildings that they're going to teach and be able to better explain where we're more about organizing we're going to do missions, hey, we're going to do, do search and rescue missions here, that kind of thing. That's our, that's our bread and butter. For them, it's like, hey, how do we safely enter and ex exit these buildings without it falling on us? And that's where they come in. And that's why they should teach the class. Well, plus you're, t you're working with people who respond to emergencies every day. It's different than responding to an emergency once every five years right. or once in your life, right. a major incident. Right. So it's just my bias. Right. Um, okay, so we'll, we'll reach out to Maria. Reach out to Maria. As, as, far as, as far as you're concerned about like, getting more members involved in it, I'm not really aware of you guys have like, a Facebook group or next door or something, but what about throwing it out there saying from the Country Journal being like, hey, if you're interested in attending this search, oh, search yeah, yeah, either come to the information meeting or send us an email or do like an online poll, and then that way you can at least see like, hey, there is a real need for right. this. Let's put it on, or hey, no, no one responded. Right. You know, and the Acton Alter OC search team does have a meeting, yeah. monthly meeting. Yeah. When is that? The fourth Tuesday of the month over at the Acton Community Center. Oh, where are you guys going? You I used to be in the Country Journal. Did you still want it in yeah. there? Fourth Tuesday of the month, seven o'clock. Seven p.m. at the community. And then come get information, and they don't have to be a certain member to come to the meeting. Right. They can just come with that of interest. Right. Gotcha. So the other thing that you might consider is because this has always been an issue here, by the way. This is not new. Uh, from a decade ago, I was dealing with this. But the other thing you might want to consider is if you can get somebody who's really passionate about it and wants to stay engaged. Um, once fire or cert, whoever you want to do the training does the training, Al's willing to own that group. Yeah. He could be your sheriff's point of contact. Okay. Yeah. okay. Um, I assume you're going to be It falls under my jurisdiction anyways, uh, okay. as far as that's one of my collaterals, so I have no issue doing it. Okay. Um, and I'm, that's what I'm here for. This, this is the okay. where I have the time. I'm not subject to the box and just getting calls all day long. You guys need me to do something. Brainstorm session. Who's in, who's who's okay. who's interested? Who who wants to raise their hand? Who wants to take? You know. Yeah, because I want no part of being in, in charge of this. Right. <laughs> well, there's people that but do. I, I want somebody to be in charge. That's exactly. <laughs> right. I definitely want somebody to be in charge. We're going to call you, but you're over there. Right. I want them but to be the in charge. He's got the key. You really don't want the key. The road's blocked. Are you right? That's, That's what horse man. Members should have horses too. Thank you. Thank you for coming out. We'll see if we can iron out the wrinkles and get a workable solution. So my next question is, Yes. they want that container moved. No. I, well, I, I don't know. So. I, I don't well, know. They did. So do they, I need to go talk to the minister? Well, they, I I'm, going to, to okay. I, I'm going to get your information, Okay. Um, contact information, and then I will, will recontact the pastor okay. and, and find out what the story is. We'll make sure that we're it's okay. I couldn't to really contact him because I had no way to ask him. Right. Okay. Um, my question is, do you have another place to put it? Not right now. That's no. accessible to 24-7 to be able to get Not to it? Not that I know. Okay. No, because we thought about that. The only other place would be here, because there's no, yeah, there's, no, there's no room here. Yeah, there's no room here. Um, I, I'm thinking Sandra Lang's oh. um, parking lot. Yeah, the dirt parking lot. Yeah. Uh, the, awesome. one, the one the actually awesome. across from the kitty corner from the real estate right. Um, right, office sure. would be ideal. Yeah. So I can talk to her okay. um, to yeah. see if she's, she's willing to do housing. Yeah. In, in, if you can let us know, we can schedule the fire department to move it, move it with their, yeah. their heavy equipment stuff. Cool. So that's half Cal, right there. That's if, I don't know why we don't still have it in. Somebody told us to take it out. That's the only reason it wouldn't be there. Okay. Um, if I if run just the, the, these are meetings of search on the fourth Tuesday at 7 p.m. at the community center. And are you the responsible yeah. person? So could I put your name and phone number? Yeah. Okay, because I have your phone number. And I think you were there before, weren't you? Right. Okay. Before. And that's a meeting up in Antelope Valley? No, I don't have Yeah. Well, you might, you might, you, if that's not successful, what I would recommend.
recommend is that you hold an informational meeting here where you have a photo on a flyer of Al, of the captain from 81s, of you, right. whoever, right. And, and so that people get interested when they see uniforms, right. and they might come locally. If you don't get a response to Acton, okay. they might come locally. Okay. All for it. Okay. Okay. We'll find somebody who will take charge. Perfect. And that brings us, I believe,